Hello everyone and welcome back. Yes, I'm the TSG and we're back today bringing you a brand new video. It's just been announced that Emery has been sacked from Arsenal. At the moment, I think Freddie Lumbo is taking over um, as caretaker until they find a replacement. So no one's been announced as of the time of this video. So what I thought I'd do is Piers Morgan... He's made his opinion known over social media um, that he wasn't happy with Emery and he wanted him sacked for probably a couple of months now. So what we've done, we're going to put him in charge of Arsenal and see how he does. He's a massive Arsenal fan, so we've actually created him in the game. He's 54 years old. Uh, we just put he's born in London. He's actually on 86k a week at Arsenal, so I bet he's pretty happy with that. Um... And we've had to put his reputation up a bit because um, obviously he will get sacked instantly if it's not at a kind of decent level. But we have got him as a Sunday league footballer because I don't know if he's ever kicked a ball in his life, but it's definitely not in the professional game. So he's as a Sunday league footballer. Um, and then we've given him some half decent attributes just so he obviously doesn't get sacked instantly. We want to actually make it a bit realistic to see how he can go and if you can get a couple of seasons as the Arsenal manager be <laughs> make this video better so um, what I've done is kind of given him a tactical 10 because he's he knows Arsenal inside out he's been a fan for 54 years so I give him a bit of tactical knowledge you know the players that's about it probably <laughs> um, but the mental side anyone can kind of have a decent um, kind of stats for so determination I'm as an Arsenal fan, he's going to be pretty determined. Level of discipline, uh, discipline even, I think that it will be quite high with him. I think he'll demand the best for the players because it's the club he loves. Along with motivation, we put that at the highest because I think he will be, as an Arsenal fan, as motivational as possible to the players. So there he's kind of attributes. And now we're going to jump into the first season. So I'm going to sim to the end of the first season and see how he does. Um, I do not have a clue how he's going to do. It's going to be interesting to see. If we go to Arsenal, you'll see they haven't made any transfers yet. It's literally the first day of the save on um, Football Manager. So they've got a decent uh, side here. There's a lot of good players. So potentially, if he can get the best out of some of these players, they could push a top four spot. Uh, but obviously, it's looking highly unlikely, actually, in real life. So, um, let's see how he can do. Uh, actually, first, let's have a look how the media predict them to finish. So, the media actually predicts them to finish fifth. Um, and obviously, they are in the Europa League as well. So, we'll see how the, he does in that. Anyway, let's fast forward to the end of Season 1 and see how Piers Morgan does. Alright, so we're back at the end of season one and as you can see Piers Morgan is still in the job his stats have actually gone up a little bit um, on a few of them there so uh, he's definitely improving as a manager remember this is his first managerial job um, and the first season must have gone alright for them not to have sacked him yet um, so let's see where they actually uh, ended up in the league then As you can see, they did end up coming fifth. They were predicted as fifth as well, so he didn't underachieve, he didn't overachieve, but as a person who's never managed a football team before, that's not bad going. Obviously, he has got some good players at his disposal. He's got um, some very good players, actually, in the ranks, but let's see how they actually did in the other competitions. So, obviously, as you can see there in the league, uh, they came fifth. They got a Europa League spot. So did Bournemouth actually. They were seven points behind Spurs in fourth. They got knocked out uh, in the first round in the Europa League by Shakhtar Donetsk. Fifth round in the FA Cup by Leicester. Uh, and then quarter final by Chelsea in the Carabao Cup. So no trophies, no real success. Um, but for Piers Morgan, not a bad season at all. As you can see, United have actually won the league there. Usually it's Liverpool City. Um, but yeah, that's the first time I've ever seen United uh, win the league in the first season of a save that I've done. Okay, so I'm just seeing if he's brought anyone in um, 
as the Arsenal manager and it looks like all of the ones there are deals that were done before he become the manager so it doesn't look like he signed anyone he's just let a few loans out no real big signings or sales there so in his first season he just worked with the squad he's got here we go so we're looking how the players have performed now um, and as you can see Lacazette made the most appearances under Piers Morgan along with Leno and then Aubameyang even Reese Nelson who looks a good talent there only 20 years age obviously a Piers Morgan favourite getting 44 games there um, and if we sort it by goals you can see Lacazette uh, got 26 Aubameyang 23 that's not bad going is it that's a lot of goals there 49 goals between the pair there so the players have been playing well under him and then if we look at the assists you've got Mkhitaryan then Nelson then Elneny then Aubameyang and then you can see everyone's kind of chipping in on a couple of assists below um, but overall the players have performed for Piers Morgan and as you can see by the average match ratings as well some of them very good even Granite Shack is in there um, I know Piers Morgan's been very vocal on um, Twitter before about Shaka's ability and wanted him stripped of the captaincy but clearly uh, he's liked him enough to give him 30 games over the season and actually Shaka has played pretty well for him so uh, it's worked out quite well Okay, so as you can see, at the end of the third season, not a bad season at all, especially not for anyone who's ever managed a club before um, and have no real expertise. He's just a Sunday League footballer. But anyway, let's see how he gets on in his second season now, or at the end of the second season, if he's still in charge, that is. Welcome back, we're now at the end of season two, and Piers Morgan is still in charge. You see, he's 56 now. He's actually been given a pay rise he's now on £110,000 a week his stats have been improving a lot this season more than last so you can see he's turning out to not be a bad manager um, but let's see how Arsenal actually got on during the season then as you can see the media predicted them to finish sixth they ended up finishing fourth so he overachieved this season He's not been a bad manager so far. Let's have a let's have a look at the competition then and see how he got on. Um, so as you can see, they finished fourth by one point over Chelsea, but he only lost five games all season. There's a lot of draws in there, but only five games all season. It's not bad going. And then they got knocked out in the quarterfinals by PSG. Um, in the Europa League quarter finals again in the FA Cup but this time by Liverpool and then they only made it to the third round get knocked out by Wolves uh, in the Carabao Cup so um, yeah overall not a bad season let's see how uh, the players actually perform themselves um, so the person the people who made the top appearances again was Bern Leno, Lacazette and it's Shaka made forty two appearances this season. You can see Lacazette's wanted by Real Madrid and another one of his star players uh is wanted by Real Madrid. <laughs> so Real Madrid are looking to take the Arsenal squad now, now that they're doing so well under Piers Morgan. But let's see who scored the most goals. So Lacazette got thirty three Pepe got 26, Aubameyang only got 10, that's strange, but between them, that front three, that is a lot of goals, I think that's, is that 69 goals, yeah, 69 goals between the three of them, that's incredible, and then if we go to the assists, you can see Pepe, Lacazette, Nelson, Mkhitaryan, Torreira, Smith Rose up there, and if we look at average match rating, there is a lot of players who have performed very well this season under him and it kind of shown in the league table by them finishing fourth let's see if he actually signed anyone new though or nope no signings new and no sales so Piers Morgan he hasn't changed the squad at all he's just worked with what he's got he's got um a Champions League spot so what we're going to do we're going to come back at the end of next season so the third season of him in charge hopefully he'll still be there he's had two good two decent seasons I'd say um, 
and see how he gets on in the Champions League. So we'll come back at the end of this season. Hello anyway, everyone, welcome welcome back to the end of season three. And unfortunately, Piers Morgan's reign has come to an end. He's developed a lot as a manager over his couple of year spell at Arsenal, but unfortunately he's now been given the sack. Um, let's go have a look at Arsenal and see when he did get sacked throughout the season. So, so now we're looking at Arsenal and as you can see they got Diego Simeone in charge. Um, let's see when he got sacked. It was definitely February. So let's see where they were. They ended up finishing sixth in the league, um, which isn't too bad. And let's see if they um, see if they won a trophy they did they won the FA Cup and they came runner up in the Carabao Cup and they're in the final of the Europa League wow so it's been a pretty successful season I'm not sure if that's Piers Morgan or Diego Simeone but he was sacked of course in February so let's see where they were at the time <laughs> here you go so in February when he got sacked they were actually in ninth position, so it's not great. It's not really good enough for Arsenal. So he's been sat there, and then Diego Simeone comes in, and they end up finishing sixth. But overall, he didn't have a bad spell. He finished fifth, and then got him into the Champions League, and then obviously that last season, he just wasn't up to scratch. Um, we'll have a look if he made any signings from the transfer history. No, again, they haven't spent any money for years. Maybe that's his problem. He just doesn't like to spend it, which is a is a shame because if he'd spent a little bit of money, they might have kept him, might have had the players to keep pushing on. But as you can see, the squad's pretty much the same. And again, there was a lot of good performers across the season, Lacazette, Aubameyang, and Nicolas Pepe being the top three again. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, Piers Morgan's um, managerial career has now ended but he had a good run of it he's just a fan at the end of the day he's given his big club a go he's lasted longer than I probably ever expected him to so fair play to him he's done well if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like it subscribe to the channel if you're new I've been the TSG goodbye